This is Steve, and I'm here with Dan, and we're looking at his beautiful 1971 Cuda 340. Man, this thing, this thing is awesome. You don't see very many of these, and 71 uh, is kind of my favorite year. Is your favorite year? Definitely. One <laughs> that I've always wanted ever since I've gotten into Mopars was a 71 Cuda. So what makes this one special? I mean, the color is unusual. Yeah, very strange color combination. Most of these 71s you see in the high impact colors. Uh, I spotted this car uh, about five years ago in Florida, and I was attracted to the color uh, more than anything. But what re really made me go through with the purchase was the build date on this car um, is the same date as my mother's birthday. Oh, wow. So it was a February 23rd build date. That was my mom's birthday. And after looking at it for four or five months, when I saw that on the fender tag, I went on ahead and called him and said, send me the car. Nice. Was it already beautiful like this, or did you have to restore it? No, the car was It was actually really nice, Steve. Uh, it was mostly in original paint, uh, but the lacquer had checked. So the previous owner, who was actually the gentleman who owns Hangster's Hot Rods, they had cleared over the check paint. So it had shine to it, but the paint didn't look that great. But it was a beautiful car. So just a repaint, a clean up, some electrical work, and it was ready to go. Yeah, I just don't see um, the 340 model as much. You know, the, the kind of the 440s get all the get all the attention, whatever. But these are these are quick little cars, aren't they? Pretty fast little car. Probably not compared to today's vehicles. Uh, you know, a Civic could probably. Oh yeah, I got the big. Runner, but it doesn't have the same pool factor. You got moms and soccer bands blowing people away in car. You know, it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So I figure if you really want to go fast, just buy a new car. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, but but these are still somewhat affordable. I mean, uh, uh, a 71 440 car, the prices on those are just really out of most people's price ranges. Yeah. But I think uh, if you're a collector, you can still get into something like this at an affordable price and still go home to tell about it. Yeah. <laughs> can, we take, can we take a look at the motor? So it is the original numbers matching 340. Um, all the valve covers, intake, uh, are original to the car. Original A833 four-speed transmission. Um, it's a 391 uh, axle package car. Um, I did add gear vendors so I could drive it on the freeway, so it's a nice ride on the freeway. Um, and I was able to secure a 1971 thermoquad carburetor. So in essence, this is the way that the car left the factory. Yeah, I mean, I can see a lot of attention to detail here. I mean, you have the right hoses, the right clamps. I mean, and the fact that you, that's commitment getting a 1971 carburetor, thermoquad. Yeah, uh, the, the <laughs> Mopar crowd can be kind of uh, persnickety, Steve. Uh, and if you don't have it quite right, they can yeah. kind of give you a hard time. So I, I tried to do everything as well as I could so I could kind of hang with some of the guys who are very detailed about the way they restore these cars. Yeah, I know some the Mopar restorations are some of the best I've ever seen. They really strive to make these cars correct and original, more so than, than uh, say, like Chevrolet. I see a lot of Chevrolets are usually modified in some way, most of them. Not all of them, most of them have like something, something's been modified. This is just um, beautifully restored. Yeah, I, I agree, and that's probably what, what attracted me to, uh, to the Mopars. A friend of mine had a Dart, and I also have a 72 Duster and a 70 Swinger um, that are not quite uh, where this car is, but because of the value of these cars, I just wanted to really leave it, uh, leave it alone. I didn't want to put any type of uh, resto mod parts on it. Yeah, oh, it sure looks fantastic. This is just an awesome, awesome looking car. I love it. I thought it was a really, whoever ordered this car, I have the original paperwork and warranty cards and all of that. And I just really thought, why would a person order a car in this color scheme uh, with drum brakes in the front, manual brakes, leather interior. It just, I couldn't really put together what the thinking was when they were checking the boxes off. And that's what makes it, I guess, kind of quirky and so cool. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, that's what makes it interesting is that you, these, those days you could order everything a la carte. <laughs> Yeah, right. And that's what they did. I'm like leather interior with drum brakes. You want to go fast, but you don't want to stop. I, I just yeah. didn't get it. But and, it's, and they're manual brakes, no not power brakes. Manual brakes. No, no power brakes on the car. Maybe they didn't want to suck off back into the engine. Maybe. I don't. 
but it was, and I think the, uh, the the original owner was a lady who bought it, so I was trying to put oh. put two and two together, to, to, and her name was Ola, so I, I just <laughs> it kind of sounds like a little old lady, you know. <laughs> Maybe she was just getting into the hot rod game. Was, I don't was, know. Was she from Pasadena? From Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough to here. <laughs> so that was just kind of cool, but yeah. it's it's a really fun. It's a, it's a tension getter in this color, and the odd thing is now these kind of earth tones are starting to gain their ground in, in popularity. A lot of the, uh, I, have, I have a car that's uh, uh, EK2, which is the, uh, the bright orange, but this actually gets more attention than the brighter cars, and I have an FY1 car too, the bright yellow, but this is probably the one that I enjoy the most. Yeah, it's this difference, and I get, maybe that's what drew me to the car. I'm like, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one this color. You know, it's just, it's just unusual. I like the 340, it's just a, an interesting, interesting car. It's, a, it's a, just a beautiful car. It's, uh, for a muscle car, it's almost elegant. You know? Yeah, with the and with the white billboards. I've seen others. I've seen one other car in this color with white billboards. It's a 383 car with a white vinyl top. But I've never seen a GK6 car in white. See a lot of them in black, but the white billboard option is a very rare, a very rare option. So I've never seen another one like it. I think it's the one. I think this All is right. the one. Well, thanks so much for showing us this car and uh, tell me a little bit of background on it. I was always curious. I'd seen it here at the Good Guys event before, and uh, now I know Now I know the story. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. I, I plan on keeping it in the family. Awesome. For, for some time. For cool. Some time. All right, that's our look at this beautiful 340 Cuda, man, here and at Good Guys in Pleasanton. Catch you next time in the garage. Thanks. Please like and subscribe. Thanks, thanks man. Thank you, Steve. I okay. appreciate it. All right, man.